good or great, a few of you, we're not sure about it. Okay. I'm just hope for the best for the rest of you. Well, we're so glad you're here this morning. Thank you for joining us at Muncie First Church. Um, if you're a guest this morning, we especially thank you. We recognize that it's not always easy to get up on a Sunday morning and get your family ready and, and get it to church. I mean, if, if you're going to make the decision to go to church, that probably means that somebody's going to set something on fire on Sunday morning or, uh, you know, the little brother's going to hurt little sister. You know, it just, it just is inevitable that if you're going to make that decision, something crazy is going to happen on Sunday morning. So we thank you for, you know, making you know, making it here this morning and joining us. If you would, pull out your bulletin. We got all kinds of things going on here this morning. Um, I want to try to juggle all these papers. If you would, please talk the connection card attached to the bulletin and put that in the offering plate later when it passes by. Um, like I said, we got a lot of things coming up. We have uh, our, our MAD Science Bible Camp. I don't know if it's really called MAD. It just seems like a good thing. It's like MAD Science. Uh, it's going to be awesome this, this summer. Our VBS coming up July 19th through the 22nd. If you are, are planning on having kids there, we're planning on being a part of that. Each session will be uh, from 6.30 to 8.30 for those nights. We need volunteers. There's a green sheet in the bulletin that says what we need. We need, you know, we need power group leaders. We need uh, snack helpers, my favorite part. We need game leaders. We need all kinds of things. If you, if you like to act and, and want to do a, a skit, um, it, volunteer. Indicate on the connection card or let Miss Debbie know. If, if you don't, we, we just come and we track you down and then we put you in positions. And, and you might be able to act, you might not, but you, you might be acting. You just never know. So uh, please let us know. We need some volunteers for that. Quite a few, in fact. A um, couple other things. There's a bunch of stuff going on in, in the youth group right now. If you're a parent or a graduate, I need your pictures as soon as possible. If you haven't given them to me. Um, embarrassing ones, good ones, you, you know, your choice. You just get those to me, let me know, and we're going to uh, honor our graduates on June 7th. We're also going to be promoting our fifth graders that day as well. So please plan to be here and participate in that. Um, we're still selling our cards in the back. Um, oh, one other thing. We, we, do, we started this last year. Uh, our big momentum summer kickoff event where we, that's that first event that we do where uh, fifth graders can come in and be a part of what we do. We had planned to do this on June 7th. Well, some things happened and we needed to make a change. So I just wanted to note that in there. You, you can read it, but it is going to be on June 14th instead. And I know I sent out those calendars and I just want to make sure parents knew that because, if, you know, if, if you said it one time, it's official forever. So I need to make sure. That you know. Um, the last thing I want to mention is we, uh, this past week, we have decided we are going to, um, through, through Pastor Mark and Debbie and I and the board, we are going to launch a summer camp here, a summer day camp. This is a, a, essentially a, a, a camp for kids who are school age. So if you, you have a kindergartner who, who is finishing kindergarten all the way through finishing fifth grade, they are welcome to be a part of it. Um, it will be during the day, it'll run alongside our daycare here uh, in our facility here. Um, and there are uh, flyers. There we go. I can think of the word. Flyers out right, basically right behind Matt. If you don't know who Matt is, he's the awesome guy that runs our sound. He's, he's just amazing. They'll be right behind him out in the foyer. Yes, if you want to clap for Matt, you can do that. <laughs> super excited to do this. We recognize that there is a need in our church and our community for people who have kids that are of school age and, and don't know what to do with them during the summer. I mean, you know, they've got to find babysitters and things like that. Well, we have made it available for you to bring your kids here and we're going to do all kinds of fun activities with them and, and there's going to be some great things going on. If you are interested in that, there's, like I said, there's flyers back there with the pricing and, and we're going to do, there's going to be themes each week, like a Lego week, a rock star week. You might even get Nathan coming and do some guitar, you know. Who knows what we'll do. Teach, 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 how to, teach us all how to dress better, you know. I mean, whatever, you know. <laughs> but it is going to be awesome. I'm very excited about that. Um, and if you, if you are interested, I feel like I should mention this too. If you are interested in volunteering in this ministry in any way, 
please let me know. We, there's a door wide open for that. If you, you say, man, it's summertime. I've got nothing else to do. You know, I don't know. Let us know. Let us know. We will, we will find a place for you to sit down. So if you would stand with me. We're going to pray together. Father, we just come to you now and man, we ask that you would meet us in this place, Lord. God, we recognize yet again that this is just a building. This is walls and concrete and seats and carpet. God, it is, it is just a building, but we are the church and we are here this morning, God, and we are asking that you would meet us in this place. God, that your Holy Spirit would show up and move in our hearts and move in our minds. God, and do something in our lives. I don't know what the weeks of our people here look like. God, maybe they've been great weeks and they've just been worshiping you all week. And, and today is, is literally just like a cherry on top of a great week. And Lord, maybe there's some here and, and it's not been so good. And it's, it's been a rough week. It's been a week full of trials. And I just pray that you would help those to be able to clear their mind, clear their hearts, set those things aside, and to be able to set those things at your feet and just worship you this so morning. Just meet with you. For those of us who need comfort this morning, God, I pray that you would comfort. But for those who need healing, I pray that you would heal. But for those who need encouragement, I pray that you would bring encouragement this morning. That you would make this service this morning not about music, not about Pastor Mark or the band or, or anything, but all about you. May it be all about you, Jesus. And may you be pleased with our worship this morning. For our celebration, pray this in Jesus' name.